Hello friends, welcome to Wisdom Wings IES. This is Subhash Mishra. And today in a weekly a specific program that I will be coming up with every Sunday. I am going to talk about the most relevant and most burning topic currently in the world. Not only in India, but entire world. And the globe is engulfing in so many questions regarding this new technology called artificial intelligence. Though it is not new, for years altogether they had made the base and now AI is taking jobs, AI is giving jobs also, new kind of jobs and we need to scale up, we need to pace up with this thing. And this AI, artificial intelligence is one of the most important part regarding your UPSC PCS or any other examinations where you write prelims, mains and so many uh, startups, entrepreneurship and general people also must know a bit about AI, artificial intelligence. So this is a part of industrial revolution 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution we are currently in. So AI startups in India is a buzzword now. And we are pacing up with the world because you very much know that Chad GPT, one of the most uh, important proponent of AI, which has taken even the Google with a surprise. So AI startups in India for 2024, we have to look for several AI startups that we have to track. And I will be talking about that. Where it will be helpful for you? UPSC, Mains Examination, GS Paper 3, Science and Technology. Particularly GS Paper 4, Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude. There can be several questions related to deep fake, uh, artificial intelligence and its ethicality, how higher and higher are being done, how the data accumulation, data privacy concerns are there. So many things you have to understand there. And GS Paper 2, Indian Polity. There also you will be asked so many questions regarding the India's AI landscape, AI's, uh, India's AI policy, India's machine learning policy, India's industrial revolution policy. So many things uh, they can be asking related to policy in the polity paper. In international governance scenario also regarding GS Paper 3 itself, internal security, external security, you may be asked that how the terrorism is being supported, organized crime is being supported by artificial intelligence and how the law enforcement agencies will be having difficulties while in the age of IR, Industrial Revolution 4.0 and artificial intelligence. UPPCS, GS Paper 3 equally, GS Paper 4 as you know that it is the replica of UPSC so you will be being asked questions regarding that. In BPSC also there will be several questions that can be asked uh, inside the economy, geography or science and technology related questions in, even in the current affairs question there are only two papers in the mains of BPSC that you know but the questions on AI can be found in your paper. India's preparedness regarding this AI revolution they can be asking okay. So this I am making in English per se fully English because I am catering to the South Indian students also all over the India I am teaching. UPSC people, BPSC, UPPCS, so many batches are running, going on, SA I teach, ethics I teach, so many things I teach. So you can enroll into those courses, you can look up for the provided mobile number in the description box and you can contact me directly over uh, my official number and you can talk to me regarding the courses and all. I have written so many books, I will be talking about that in the next slide. So let's start uh, the discussion of today's Sunday special. Every Sunday I will be coming up with this kind of one big video there you can stay with me for half an hour or so or even lesser than that but you will be gaining a lot from it. So I will be showing you how many like uh, what is the things I will be talking about. I will be talking about conversational AI technology, I will be talking about computer vision, the, the India's AI technologies like Sarvam AI. Pour over, Kutrim AI, Haptic AI, Karya AI, Arya AI, Scribble Data, Kisan AI, Jan AI, Machine Hack Gen AI, Blend. These things I will be talking about. So let's start the conversation. So AI startups uh, is rapidly becoming a powerhouse in the development and implementation of AI technology. And India's AI sector is booming. 
So this kind of data you can quote that 1.11 billion dollar funding uh, in 2022 has been done. So it is around 10,000 crore rupees that has been put into the India's AI startup uh, sector. Okay, 17% of the startup focuses on conversational AI, 15% on the computer vision. So let's first start, uh, understand about what is conversational AI technology. So conversational AI technology basically is about chatbots where the computer uh, program simulate the human interaction and conversation where you can chat with the computer AI technology. You can uh, write over there and that will respond to you. Voice assistants are there. Interactive voice response systems are IVRS. As you can see, several banking services are being provided. Several, you know, companies are uh, having interactive voice response system. So these kind of thing, like even you can ask uh, Google through the voice assistant services and you can search on the internet. Even if you are not able to see the screen, they will be giving you the information by speaking to you. So th that is actually the uh, conversational AI. And what about the computer vision? So computer vision is basically the subfield of artificial intelligence that uses digital systems to analyze and interpret visual data. Particularly, a human can see through the eyes. Similarly, uh, if a computer can see something and understand that thing, like if, if that uh, computer is seeing, uh, like the, this technology, the simplest example, you can see that um you know driverless cars driverless metros and all those things so through machine learning artificial intelligence graphics image processing algorithm and cognitive science it can understand that which kind of uh, things it is seeing and what kind of uh, you know information it can give information regarding that object people or even it can scan things okay and understand it and then process and give information also and interact and also go for internet of things so this is the computer vision just like uh, humans computer vision is very important for you know machine interactive systems in robots and many more things so 2024 witnesses the rise of over 60 startups emphasizing native ai solutions for india's diverse populace native ai solution means it can give information in india's language india's culture india's problem solution to india's problem and all those things like in hindi in bangla in tamil telugu all those people can be catered with this thing all the kind of uh, culture can be catered with this kind of models okay prevailing hybrid approach involves building atop open ai's large language model and llama that is large language mode model model meta ai so see this is llama is the uh, language of meta meta you see that uh, facebook ha is having so many uh, you know apps and all those technologies and uh, that now combinedly is called meta so we have llm uh, a large language model also slm also short language mod uh, model also these models are basically related to how much of data we are processing right so large language model generally processes the heavy data set like gpt 3.5 gpt 4 as we are seeing in the chat gpt models so that kind of thinking is there okay so this is about me wisdom wings is by subhash mishra you can go to and keep visiting the site subhashmishra.com as it is developing you can gain so many pdf and information uh, syllabus decoding and so many things over there and keep interacting with me over there also uh, i'm gold medalist in ma masters in public administration from bhu research papers in journals and anthologies i have written 12 books writer several publications and apart from that i have qualified many exams like ugc net upsc prelims mains uppcs interview so many interviews i have appeared in upsc cds i have qualified so I have talked about all these things. Now we talk about the India's startups in the sector of artificial intelligence and we'll know a bit about all these things. And this kind of uh, words like Open Hathi, Sarvam AI, Large Language Model, all these things can you can be, they can be asking you in the prelims examination also. So be aware about it. It is not only about means that you will be writing about all these examples and all these learning. But in prelims also, it is equally important. So Sarvam AI is one of the AI which was founded in 2023. $41 million funding is there. And what is the focus area? Developing large language models for Indian languages. Means it will be having big data set regarding the Indian languages. Native AI solution as I have talked about. Indigenization. Bharatiya Karana. 
that we are talking about indianization indigenization their first model open hathi version 0.01 was recently announced so sarvam ai has open hathi so if they are asking about oh, what is open hathi it is uh, related to artificial intelligence large language model core over it was founded in 2016 way back it is specializes in human centric conversational ai platform as i talked about providing multi format solution video bot voice bot chat bot so what is bot actually it is a digital version of the robot so it can interact just like humans okay so through video through voice through chat so multilingual capacities will be there in core over also krutrim or kritrim that is uh, in um, that is the language uh, hindi that is the hindi of hindi translation of artificial itself kritrim so it was recently founded and the funding is 24 million dollar notable achievement or performs gpt4 in indic languages whatever the indian languages are there unveiled by ola so as we are aware bhavish agrawal the chief of ola has separately actually uh, made this entity kurtrim ai and uh, it is making and it is like uh, competing with uh, the chat gpt4 itself which is uh, the recent model of the chat gpt okay then haptic ai it was funded way back in 2013 expanding into various industries such as e-commerce finance insurance healthcare and it leverages natural language processing so what is natural language processing when the computer is interacting like humans it is called natural language processing and machine learning for human like interaction haptic ai you must remember this name it is also indian karya ai so it was founded in 2021 notable achievement collaboration with microsoft gates foundation and google for speech data contributes to ai data through app based task for rural indians so karya ai is related to rural indians and will be helping indians through rural indians through app based technologies arya ai you can see arya ai is related to streamlining the development training and uh, deployment of ai models with expanding capabilities to serve a range of industries arya okay then scribble data 2017 it was uh, founded focusing on data preparation and acceleration of time to value with the integration of generative ai so all these uh, keywords you should be taking care about like generative ai large language uh, language model short language model um, then you can talk about the bots and all those things all these terminologies you can use so many places in your mains preparation itself and in prelims there will be Uh, there will be some one liner questions where you have to identify through which uh, these words are related which which industries which sector and all those things habitually upsc is asking about these question in prelims as you can see in the prelims prelims previous year questions kisan ai as you see this is regarding the farming and farmer sector 2022 it is the focusing on uh, developing ai tools for soil and crop monitoring precision agriculture so in gs paper 3 you can uh, write about the kisan ai and ai technologies used in agricultural technology which is the part of your syllabus technology missions okay Uh, expanding capabilities to reach more farmers they use ai and natural language processing for solution like dhenu 1.1 again you have to remember dhenu 1.1 1.0 hathi all these are related to ai okay an agriculture large language model dhenu is large language model agricultural ai technology then gen ai or gen ai a notable achievement is proposal proposed to rival chat gpt tailored for india's languages collaboration between government it industry and academic institutions with an emphasis on creating a large language model trained on indian data collaboration gen ai would uh, join other initiatives like bharat gpt by core over ai which again you have to remember this bharat gpt which also targets indian languages meet is see ministry of uh, um, you know electronics and uh, information technology bhashini you have to remember this this is the uh indian government ai technology as potential data source and tech mahindra's project indus so project indus is related to uh, uh, in uh, artificial intelligence again so you can remember this bhar gpt bhashini project indus all are related to artificial intelligence machine hack gen ai so this was founded in, in 2021 and it hosts ai hackathons offers ai copilot and uses gpt4 and proprietary algorithm for coding skill development so see copilot it is also related to copilot world is also related to microsoft's ai technology okay so they can ask you now that which uh, technology is related to which major company okay and whether it is indigenous or whether it is foreign blend again it is indian 
It was founded in 2022, focusing on leveraging AI technology for e-commerce, AI-powered platform for creating professional product photos, so that they can create, you know, blended photos, and uh, expanding its products offering and actively seeking global partnerships. So this is uh, the discussion today regarding the India's AI startup sector. I will be talking more and more about. the artificial intelligence because you must be sure in 2024 whatever exams will be there there must be one or two questions related to that whether it is related to prelims means there will be several questions in several areas at least one or two question in each paper of yours in gs 1 2 3 4 you can find that mostly in gs paper 3 because it is related to science and technology again in uppc is same thing bpsc also you can find in this 69th mains also you can find some questions and in 70th also prelims mains interview uppcs interviews uh, will be going on i have like just uh today also i have like some of uh, people i have guided those who are giving upsc also i am guiding this year also so many people are going to interview so everywhere they will be asking you about this technology if you are from science background definitely the deep questions will be asked even if you are not the things are changing please be updated through all these technologies like share and subscribe this channel please like the video share it and we need to grow it up because i want to give you all the free things here all the things will be free over here nothing you i will be charging you so many programs i am running free of cost but if you will support me then only i will be going forever on youtube okay thank you very much thank you for your support if you enjoy our content please like share and subscribe again i am giving to you so bashmishra.com please keep going there and keep supporting over there also thank you thank you very much shining off good night